my name is Miranda and today I'm here to react to episode 5 of season 5, I just realized that, of Schitt's Creek. I'm very excited for this episode because when I told my friend that I was watching season 5 and she was like, what episode are you on? I said, well, Patrick just got an apartment and she got very excited and said, oh, you get to see Fun Ted next. And I was like, poor Kay. So apparently in this episode, Fun Ted comes out. Don't know what exactly that entails. Uh, hopefully all cats and dogs will be safe and the vet will still exist after this episode. But yeah, let's get started. <laughs> hey, her hair looks normal again. Congratulations. Your baby. Oh, your baby's so cute. David's like, please ask her. I love this. <laughs> I love how they didn't ask David. They were just like, David, is Patrick available? They didn't technically ask David. They asked David if Patrick was busy. If these two attempt to take care of the baby, I feel like Johnny might be okay, but Moira? No. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, I love that outfit. I'm surprised they let her wear that though on a show because she would just constantly be having the chance of reflecting like the cameras or the lights or something. <gasps> Your baby's so cute. He's gonna flap in his little arms. Aww. Where is Mutt? Mutt came for exactly one episode, not even the birth, and I've never seen him interact with his little brother. <laughs> It'll be fine, girl. Calm down. Oh. The baby's smiling! Look at Moira! She's like making it smile. That's so cute. Oh, it's such a cute baby. Oh, that's so cute! Fair. Riverdale. Probably Riverdale. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> it's so cute, guys. Ah! <laughs> I love that, though. He's like, my parents spent an astounding amount on therapy. It's like... Welcome to the club, except I'm spending my own money. <laughs> I completely, like I said this before, did not realize that the apartment was connected to the vet office. And then I saw the full shot and I was like, what? Oh. What is her life? <laughs> no, I love how she says it. It's the first, yeah. Don't say that. Is this fun, Ted? Fun, Ted. The bebe. I'm so glad they're babysitting so we can hear her say bebe the whole episode. Poop. Poop. Ew. They assumed we'd take care of it. Oh my gosh. These two have never been around a child and it's terrifying because they raised two kids. It's actually astounding that Alexis and David aren't more messed up when you think about it. Flip the baby? She's not going to be able to leave. Oh, she wants to help. Oh. She's going to stay. Yay! <laughs> what? Is she reading this wrong or is Jocelyn not? I'm so confused. Oh, they have, like, matching pajamas, David and Patrick. That's so cute. Oh. 
He's like, well, we'll do. I love it. <laughs> hey, Ted! Fun Ted. Fun Ted. Uh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh. oh, Patrick's like, yep. <laughs> Ted. Ted's the man. Who knew? Oh my gosh, I wonder what Ted was like in high school. Well, Mutt knew him, right? He said he was like astoundingly eager and just nice to everyone. I like how she crawls. She's like, Inch. Patrick's just sitting there. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. This is a bad idea. What if it doesn't land on Alexis? Just like a real high school party that I was in my wildest dreams would never expect it went that way and that is amazing <laughs> I also love how like Alexis and Patrick are both like nope 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 we're getting out of this bye 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 yeah that's uh that's the thing about kids <gasps> Ewie threw up on him kids are just like they're so that's why they have to be so cute because they're absolutely disgusting like if they didn't look as cute as they do no one would want to be near them that's actually a real like the continuity is really good because you can see like the tv light shining off her dress like i'm really impressed with it because that is i feel like not an easy dress to work into a tv show like i said it would be catching everything and the fact that it's not catching the cameras or the lights but it is catching like the light from the tv i'm impressed gonna get that dig in there. Twister! This is such a cute party idea, guys. I want to do this for my birthday or something. What? He shouldn't have to apologize. Like, nothing, yeah. Me too, CB, me too. Your boyfriend kissed him. Yes! He didn't mean anything. <laughs> She's go <cold>. away. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is a Riverdale situation. It's Jughead and Veronica all over again. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> she stepped out of her shoes and he's like, is that really necessary? Oh. oh, Patrick, what an absolute cringe fest that was. Oh, I love when she stepped out of her shoes and he was like, okay, that's not necessarily saying that he's so much shorter than her. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Oh, I can't unsee things. That, I can't unsee things. Jughead and Veronica's kiss was still worse though. Let's never forget. Oh, he fell asleep. Wait, her hair's messed up again, Jocelyn. Honey, I thought we were over this now. What happened? Two steps forward, three back. No, I want Patrick. Oh my gosh, I want Patrick and David to watch baby or Alexis by herself. Or maybe with Ted. Either one. I want, I just, oh, I want to see Patrick and David taking care of baby so bad. And I think Alexis and Ted would also be really funny taking care of a baby. She just flips it. Aww, this is sweet. Uh oh, and then we've got these two. Uh
Aww, that's so cute. I like how he said bye. He's like, bye. <laughs> Just get out. Bye. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh my god, Ted. <laughs> oh, that was so cute how he imitated her. Oh, you, you, you. That's you. Oh, I love it seeing like more into their relationship. That's really cute. I wonder if that was improv because, um, even like. The actress looked like she was laughing. That was so cute. Oh, what a fun episode that was. I absolutely love seeing all the characters together in, like, a setting. Like, well, aside from the parents, but I mean, like, all the characters the same age, like Stevie, all them together in the same scenes. Because I think that's a really fun thing that we don't get to see often enough. Like, Ted and David, too. Oh, my God. Like, that was just so funny to see Patrick get a little jealous, but then not want to admit that he was jealous. I loved how David handled it, too. Like, when... I thought he would get, like, super mad when, uh, Patrick was trying to say that maybe he was jealous of both of them. Like, jealous that David got to kiss Ted, too. But David just, like, took it all in stride and kept, like, making fun of him for it. And it was just so, so cute. Oh, my gosh. I love them. I love the way they riff off each other. And even, like I said, that little, like, bye, he did, like, I'm not engaging in this. It was so, so cute. So I am so happy that, you know, they always work their issues out, both of them. Like, Alexis and Ted were fine. Patrick and David, absolutely fine. Like, it's just great to me that there's never any super bad conflicts like they end up communicating and see communication solves all your problems so fun Ted was definitely a trip not what I was expecting at all I think Alexis also got a little more than she bargained for with him so I don't know if we'll be seeing a reappearance of him for a while because I think Alexis is gonna want to keep that contained. So if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about down in the comments. It's definitely one of my favorite of the season so far, even though it's only been like four or five episodes. And I'm super, super excited to see more. So yeah, if you've seen this episode, leave your thoughts. Also make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Also, I'm filming this on Christmas Eve. So happy Christmas Eve, everyone!